Good morning, Raja Scholars and Champions. This is Tuesday, May 5th, with our morning broadcast. And as you can see, today I'm dressed up in scholarship attire for a graduation. Why? Because our salute today at the end for our joke of the day will be to California Scholarship Federation and National Honor Society. And I want to talk to you about what they are representing on our campus. So with that, let's move right along. First, a huge shout out and a thank you for showing positivity, respect, integrity, determination, and excellence, because yesterday we had so many of you that participated in Teacher Appreciation Week and started out the week right by sending wonderful messages, photographs out to your teachers in Google Classroom, email, and on social media. I have just a few screenshots here of some of the wonderful ones that you sent, and I am so proud of all of my Rajas for being selfless and thinking of others. So thank you for making your teacher's day special yesterday, but let's don't stop. Let's do that every single day this week because this whole week across our entire nation and especially in Desert Sands, our district, we have virtual teacher appreciation week. And we've asked every student and parent across the district and every school to join us as we celebrate each and every day and to post something to celebrate teachers. So what is Tuesday? Tuesday is to send an email to your teacher or create a social media shout out using the following teacher appreciation sentence rank. So when it has a blank, I'm just gonna put in a name. So thank you to Mr. Blank. I am a better person because I have learned this from you and you inspire me to approve, improve by doing this. So make sure you send that sentence frame share with your teacher, one of them, all of them, what it is that made you a better person that you learned from them and how you're improving. So let's make their day special. And our what are they up to shout out column today. Congratulations and thank you. Miss Warner shared with us today. Miss Warner is one of our English teachers and our avid coordinator. And what is she up to? She upcycled all of the used kitchen cabinets that she was able to get and created her own home office. And then she's taken the time to go out in, and work out in the yard, and she has created a garden of tomatoes, cucumbers, and strawberries, three of my favorites. She's having a great time. I hope you take some time to do some special things at home uh, to pass the time away and to help your family as well. This week is also a message from our counselors that we want to share with you. This is also mental student mental health virtual spirit week across the country. So they've asked me to share. Every day, the counselors will be giving you a coping strategy that you can do to help ease your stress and put you in a better headspace. So these are some of the things happening this week with cruise day, Tuesday, workout Wednesday, thinking cap Thursday, flannel Friday, and each day we'll tell you about them a little more in detail. Today is cruise day, Tuesday. So, what is the coping strategy to help us all succeed and be successful and get through these hard times? Well, what they tell you is visualizations are a great relaxation tool. So go to your happy place by visualizing yourself on a beach, in a forest, or whatever is a relaxing place for you. You can also find many guided visualizations online or in your app stores. I can tell you real easy where I'm going to visualize myself, and most of you already know. Yeah, you're right. I'm visualizing myself at Disneyland, walking through the park, watching people smiling and having fun. That's my happy place. So visualize and relax. Also a reminder from Mr. Gomez that we couldn't do our college signing day last week in person. So we've delayed ours and ours will be on Wednesday, May 27th at 12 o'clock noon. Whether you're attending a community college, university, trade school, or joining the military, it, you have made a commitment to your future. And so we want to celebrate your pursuit of higher education or your next steps and accomplishing your career goal. So make sure you fill out that form um, that Mr. Gomez had created. We want you to be a part. It's in the counseling Google Classroom. And so submit your survey no later than the 20th so that you can be a part of our online celebrating Decision Day 2020. And a reminder that Thursday this week is when the district office will have technology support out here on the front driveway in front of the school. If you need uh, technology support to replace a damaged Chromebook or uh, your Chromebook charger is a problem, from 8 o'clock to 10 o'clock, they will be out here curbside to provide that assistance from 8 o'clock until 10 o'clock. 
And some more news for my seniors. The thought exchange that I kept telling you about is here. Last night, you should have gotten a message and, and an email to you and to mom and dad uh, from the superintendent inviting you to participate. It was a lengthy email with directions to participate in the thought exchange. Here on the screen, you'll see I have the link. I'm going to send out some information again to you, and I've, I'm sending this to all your teachers so that hopefully we can also put it out in Google Classrooms. I'm going to have it sent out to parents on the weekly preview and have access to it on our school webpage because I want you to participate. Let your voice be heard as we celebrate Class of 2020. You may remember this, that the Desert Sand School District made a commitment to vi virtual graduations right after the closure of school. Um, these virtual commitments or virtual commencements are just a safeguard to recognize all of your tremendous accomplishments. But we want your input regarding some alternative ways we can celebrate traditional senior activities. Whether you prefer a traditional graduation commencement at a later date, as the health orders permit us to do so, or if you have other recommendations for other alternative events for senior events, make sure your voice is heard on this thought exchange. It's very important. Um, also, uh, congratulations and our next two senior spotlights. We want to give a shout out to Ezekiel Thompson. What is his accomplishment? He's proud of himself for graduating and being a first team all DVL. And his favorite memory, playing basketball with his friends and participating in the pep rallies. He, uh, his plans after high school are to attend COD and then study sports medicine and finish at a four-year university. His staff shout outs are to Mr. Adkins, uh, Mr. Gio Machado, Mr. Thomas, and Ms. Hollenbeck for helping him stay on track and reaching his goals. Our second spotlight for senior shout out is to Janice Bernal. Her accomplishment, being confident in herself. Her favorite memory, being here at school with her friends. Her plans after high school are College of the Desert and then transfer to a four-year school. And her staff shout out is to Mr. Buck for opening so many opportunities for all of the students and being just being a great teacher. I agree with you, Janice. And class of 2020, I want to announce and show off what's coming your way. I am so excited to tell you this. The members of the Indio High School staff will be visiting the homes of every senior starting Thursday to deliver these yard signs that we can put out and celebrate you across our community. So be watching on Thursday as they come by to show that Raja pride and to celebrate the class of 2020. And now, if it will load... We want to do our joke of the day and our shout out for our next group. And today we are recognizing California Scholarship Federation and National Honor Society. This year they did a great service um, project and they painted all of our trash cans with some wonderful messages to help us remember to stash the trash and to do all the right things when we're here at school. They are, at, first let me tell you about both groups. The California Scholarship Federation is a statewide organization and their mission is to recognize academic achievement and community service among high school students here in California. There are about 1,500 chapters across the state and each chapter has a great staff advisor. Our advisors for California Scholarship Federation and National Honor Society are Mr. Moscoso and Ms. Torres. And we also have the National Honor Society. Now, National Honor Society is the national organization, and they go a little further because they recognize scholarship with academic achievement, leadership, service, and character. They also require a community service project. And we have a number of students that are involved in these two organizations, and I would encourage all of you to apply for next year. Now it's loaded. So here you can see pictures of not only the trash cans they put together, but you'll also see students receiving their notice of being um, potential members or being accepted into the National Honor Society. We are very proud of them and you'll see their logo. And I'm also excited because our chapter of National Honor Society, one of our students created the logo for our local chapter that will live on beyond this year and become part of the tradition of Indio High School. And it looks great. I'm really proud of the job he did. Now, our joke of the day. What do you call a vessel full 
of academics. A scholarship, of course. For our final thoughts, thank you again as Mr. Schlosser is helping me to share some of these inspirational moments each day. This one for today is to remind you that someday everything will make perfect sense. So for right now, while we're going through this situation, these unprecedented times, for now, laugh at the confusion, smile through the tears, and keep reminding yourself that everything happens for a reason. We'll get through this together and we're all going to come out stronger and better. So just hang tight. With that, I want to let all of you know that it's important that you know that you matter. Have a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow.